Okay, we're going to look at he a heterogeneous mixture. Now, the prefix hetero means different. So this is a different mixture, meaning uh, it's not a uniform distribu distribution of the things that are in the mixture. So this is just plain old water. Okay, and here I have, uh, looks like some pinto beans, some white beans, and some corn. Now, these are all different substances. Okay, now if I throw them in there, they are not uniformly distributed. I can go to a particular place in that mixture and I can see just a pinto bean. Or I can see just a piece of, of corn. Or I can see just a white bean. Or up at the top here, I can see just some water. Okay, and I can put more and more in. And no matter how much I stir it, this is never going to be uniformly distributed unless I really, really mash it together, you know, cook it to death and turn it into mush. But um, for now, this, that's a heterogeneous mixture. It is not uniformly distributed. Now, the next one we're going to look at is a homogeneous mixture. Now, homogeneous mixture, the prefix homo means same. So this is going to have the same distribution of the compound throughout. Now, I'm just going to take some salt, which is nice and soluble in water, and I'm going to pour it in here. Now, notice what happened. It sunk to the bottom. Currently, this is a heterogeneous mixture because the salt is not uniformly distributed. I can go up here, and it's not going to be very salty water. Down at the bottom, it might be uh, slightly salty. Um, there's going to be some salt hanging around at the bottom. But if I stir this thing, and I get all that salt to dissolve, what's happening is those salt crystals are breaking up. And they're breaking up into individual sodium and chloride ions. We call that dissociation, boys and girls. Exactly. We'll talk more about that in Unit 9. Yeah. But I'm going to stir this all up. Now notice there is no more salt on the bottom of the beaker. But now, no matter where I go in this beaker, there's going to be an even distribution of water molecules and sodium and chloride ions in there. It's uniformly distributed. It has the same composition throughout, so we call that a homogeneous mixture. Another name for that is a solution. Guys, this uh, last piece right here is to talk about just kind of matter as a, as a general thing. We learned about matter in the first uh, podcast, but really matter can be divided into two different ways. Mm -hmm. There's pure substances. I don't think we use this term yet, but a pure substance or a mixture. Now, we just admit just a minute ago, <laughs> talked about a mixture, right. but let's talk about pure substances for just a second. There are two kinds of pure substances. There are elements and compounds. And right. we talked about that just a little bit away mm -hmm. ago. And the way to break them apart, to break a compound apart, I don't know if you see this arrow, that's kind of important, is by a chemical separation. Yes. For example, if you have water mm -hmm. and you want to break it apart, the only way to do that is to add electricity. Yep. Well, maybe not the only way, but certainly the most e the easiest way right. is if you add water, it will split that uh, part. Right, and it'll split it up into hydrogen gas yeah. and oxygen it gas. It actually turns into H2 and O2. And if you can figure out a way to do that efficiently and then power things off the hydrogen, you'll make a gazillion dollars oh, in the coming be, 20, yes. 50 years. No doubt. And then mixtures, of course, which we just got through with the little video clip, is there's two kinds of mixtures, homogeneous and heterogeneous. And you mm -hmm. just saw the difference, by the way. And then Mr. Sims at the very end alluded, he had that salt water. And that salt water is considered a solution. How is a solution different from all homogeneous mixtures? Well, Mr. solutions, we classify those as things that are dissolved in water. It's a homogeneous mixture dissolved in water. That's a solution. Actually, that's an aqueous solution. That's Mr. true. Sam's. Yeah. They're just dissolved. Actually, solutions, the size of the, of the mixed particle is uber small. Yeah, really, 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 really small. So that's really the key thing. Yeah, and that. we'll talk more about some things that are kind of in an intermediate state between there and future lessons. Okay.